friend of mine uh, who was at the rally over the weekend, and uh, uh, his first name is Nate. We'll just stay with that. Nate, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Good. So uh, tell me what you experienced. I, I, you and I talked this morning, and I, I thought that uh, in particular, the thing that really perked my ears up was your comment. And we actually had a caller in the last hour who said essentially the same thing, that many of these fascists, while the cameras like to go to the guys with the long hair and the, the beards who look like bikers, the fact of the matter is that an awful lot of these Nazi fascist uh, clan members looked like they had just stepped out of a uh, out of a college fraternity uh, kegger or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think that was definitely the most disturbing part to me. I think if you've been on a college campus in America, you ask anybody as, who's you know gone to class with people of conservative leanings, they'll they'll notice that the people that they saw there seems like someone you could have known. Seems like someone you could have had a class with who was really animated about stopping political correctness. I think. It's, it was disturbing to see people how familiar the fascists were. I think, you know, you get it up, you get this idea in your head that there's going to be German stormtroopers marching down the street, um, and it's like 1942 all over again. But it's been since, since Saturday, what's particularly upset me is how familiar the fascist fascists look. I think that that's something that we can't ever forget is how easily uh, white males in the society can turn to fascism. Yeah, I think it was Hannah Arendt who referred to it as the banality of evil. Yeah. Um, you and I talked on Friday before you left, and, and you were uh, somewhat concerned for your safety and, and, and for all this. Um, you were 30 feet away from where Heather was killed, uh, when, when she was killed. Uh, Heather Heyer, the uh, young woman who uh, the Nazis are trashing all over their right-wing websites. I don't know if you've looked at any of those this morning. Yeah. It's I've, I've seen headlines, but I've tried to avoid. I made the mistake of looking at some of the uh, Nazis' Facebook pages that were revealed on the Internet, and it was pretty disturbing. Um, but, yeah. yeah, I have seen those headlines. So, so what, you know, what stories would you like to share with us from your, your experience in Charlotte? Um, I think, you know, to stay on the positive side, I want people to understand that the moment right before – the terrorist attack was an incredibly positive feeling. You had Black Lives Matter protesters, you had DSA protesters, you had the IWW, you had the anarchists, you had Antifa, you had Surge, Stand Up for Racial Justice, and we were all marching down downtown Charlottesville. And the feeling was that we had won the day. Uh, the Nazi protest in Emancipation Park um, had been declared an unlawful assembly. We, we heard that Richard Spencer had been detained. We heard that Baked Alaska, who's one of the other, uh, you know, neo-fascist Internet celebrities, we heard he had been maced. Um, the feeling was that our solidarity and resistance had won out. Um, and that feeling was incredibly powerful. And I think people need to remember that when people from all classes of life and particularly working people stand up against Nazis, we will win. Um, it happened in Britain in the 1930s in the Battle of Cable Street, and hopefully it will continue to happen again. I think this is a threat that needs to be nipped in its bud and resisted at all costs because the stakes are just too high. Yeah. Well, it happened in the United States in the 1860s. Yeah. It's, it's just that, uh, you know, <laughs> Andrew Johnson, you know, became president, and that was kind of, well, that's a whole long story. We need not, you know, uh, go through the, the history of uh, 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 one, uh, we just have a minute to the break here, Nate. Y y any thoughts on on um, going forward? Uh, you know, uh, what are what are you and your friends going to be doing, for example? Um, I I think there needs to be a concerted effort to resist the alt right, and I I use that terminology only just because that's the way they collectively call themselves, and it's sort of a catch all for a group with a bunch of different agendas. Um, but they're really just fascists and neo Nazis. I think we need to take this threat seriously. It's clearly attracting people um, who, in the past, have been the shock troops of fascism, um, and I think it represents a real threat to democracy, especially when we have a, a president who clearly sympathizes with it or fails to understand why it's a threat. I think it needs to be resisted at all costs. Yeah.